Ten toes down, I'm around with the gang. My whole life, I've been doing my thing. Get that money, ain't no name. Anything I do, I do for the gang. Ten toes down, I'm around with the gang. My whole life, I've been doing my thing. Get that money. Girl, Lady Will, back with another video. Today, we're just gonna do a quick little run um, to Auburn to get some breakfast. It's a place called Broken Egg that we heard um, about it from a few few people. So we're gonna take the opportunity to ride up there and just get some breakfast. Um, definitely won't be going once football season starts because Auburn, it gets packed. And then there's nothing but stop and go traffic well before the game starts. So yeah, we're gonna take this opportunity to head on down there and just get a little ride in, eat some breakfast. All right, y'all lay round for it. All right, YouTube fam. Again, it's your girl, Lady Will. So as we take this journey to the Broken Egg to go get us something to eat, I want to just talk to you for a minute um, about a few different things. As you guys already know, um, the hubby and I have been going on little rides here, some long rides there, all to build um, our riding stamina for the upcoming trips. As of right now, we have three trips planned for the remaining of the year. The first one was is in within uh, a couple of days, and that one is to the all-female ride to North Carolina. That's about a six-hour drive from us. The second one is in September. That's to Key West. And from here to Key West, I believe it's 14 hours. However, we will be breaking that up um, on the way down. And we're riding with um, Wood Nation. So if you haven't already, go subscribe to Wood Jr.'s page, a.k.a. Wood Nation. Him and wifey is out there doing the, doing their thing. So we riding with them. Um and some and a few other YouTubers, Kix and Harley, Tiffany, Renee, and the Tip Squad. All of us will be riding down in September to Key West. Then in October, I have um, Biketober Fest coming up. So you guys lay around for it for all of those um, adventures. So in the meantime, let's discuss this upcoming ride and how we kind of prepared for it. So we've been doing some in and around miles. Um, we've been practicing our stop and goes, left and right turns. I haven't made it to the U-turn yet. Um, hubby is, has no problem with making U-turns. I haven't practiced the U-turns um, in depth as of yet. Um, however, I've gotten better with the stop and goes and the making uh, left and right turns at a complete stop. So what we've been doing is, is taking random trips um, throughout the day, the weekends, and different times of the day. And what we'll do is we'll just try to assimilate us riding to North Carolina and back. And we've done that a couple of times with the three hour trip to our mother, to my mother-in-law house um, a couple of times, just to kind of get a feel of how long could we ride um, without stopping or needing that break. One of the things that I've learned about myself over the past few months, just in general, is that the longer I ride, the the less I feel comfortable riding a bike, if that makes sense. So, for instance, one time when we came back home, we've been riding for about six hours. I had a hard time turning into my driveway. Now, I've been turning right into my driveway and had no issues um, since I've been riding. My issues was coming out of the driveway and making the, the left turn, which has gotten better, by the way. But my issue was never the right turn into my driveway. But after that long ride, I missed the driveway. And when I realized, it's, it's just like my reaction time wasn't there. And then when I realized, oh, I missed the driveway, I almost grabbed the front brake while trying to turn but i i had to tell myself nope you missed it just ride around the neighborhood and then focus and come back so i've i've learned that over the last few months and it's not just coming into my driveway it's it happens on the road or 
pulling into parkways. So that's the one thing I've noticed. And I believe I was right at two hours um, when I start feeling that way. So what I do um, at the two hours, I need at least a 15, 20 minute break. I mean, a sit down break away from the motorcycle, walk around, go use the bathroom and get back on. And then I'm good for another two hours. So as of now, I will safely say um, my limit is two hours um, at a time. So as newbies, those are the things we have to pay attention to our bodies or to our day-to-day -day riding to understand our limitations. Another lesson we've learned, um, and this is more so with hubby than um, me, uh, hubby typically catch cramps a lot after maybe about an hour and a half, two hour ride. So um, the recommendations from around the motorcycle world and even just, you know, his mom was just cramping in general was uh, mustard or pickle juice. So what hubby's been doing on the last few rides was when we get ready to start the ride, he'll eat some of the mustard. And then when we stop at our two hour break, he would eat some again, and he would continue to do that every two hours um, until we end the ride. Now, that has helped a lot uh, because I know when we first started riding, within that hour, his hands was cramping so bad that either we have to either pull over or he had to set the cruise control. The next lesson we learned was about hydration. Being properly hydrated is the key. For me, I don't like water and I don't drink enough of it on a day-to-day -day basis. So for me, it took that extra bottle, gallon of water. And when I realized that because I don't drink water, period, or enough of it, period, I realized that I got to now start drinking the required amount plus more with being on that motorcycle. I know we took a ride one Sunday and this was our first ride at 12, 1 o'clock. And it was so hot. It was so hot. We didn't even enjoy the ride. We In about maybe 5, maybe about 10, 15 miles, we ended up turning back around because it was just that hot. We both were sweating and we weren't properly hydrated. I know at least I wasn't. And then the hubby had, had a few um, beverages the night before. So being hydrated is key especially on the hot days now i've heard some people like to get up in the morning and travel early in the morning so as the as the weather warm up you are already acclimated to um the weather but either way ensure that you are properly hydrated that is key and we learned that almost the hard way but we was able to recoup and recover all right so the next thing we've been paying attention to or our lessons learned it's how we ride. Um, we started out together from start to up until now. So we've developed an understanding of how each other ride. And my husband preferred for me to be in the front because that gives him a peace of mind knowing that he can see me at all, at any given time. So I typically ride on the left and he rides on the right. When we first started riding, uh, I think we were probably about a one car length in between each other just to give each other that room and that comfort um, and just to actually figure out each other's ride. Like for, for me, I know when I'm riding, for some reason, after a while, I mean, I can't just stay to the left. I use up the whole lane just, you know, swaying back and forth. I don't know why, but that's that's me. So now my husband knows that although he's closed that one car length gap, he still gives me um, a couple feet because he knows that I sway at any given time. But I also know I make a conscious effort that when we get ready to come to a stop sign or a light or we slowing, then I will immediately get to the far left. So that way um, my husband can come up or if he needs to maneuver, he, he has that whole right side of the lane to do so. Alright, so I'm going to pause a little bit and let you all enjoy some of the scenery. The one thing that I like about our area is that we very seldom have um, traffic. 
in any direction. Um, the most traffic we got is on the little 80 highways or the 185, but that's not considered traffic if you used to ride, if you were from the city. Okay, so let me tell y'all how <laughs> I almost felt like I was going to lose my life on this construction site. And you see, y'all see these roads? Usually when there is some construction, I'm just used to, okay, maybe the, ride, the road is one side is higher than the other. Or there might be a, a pothole here or a little small indention there. But when I tell you, just just look at this road. Just it it was just beveled, uneven, and I was like, oh no. So on the ride back, um, we didn't take the expressway, even though my husband was saying that it wasn't on the other side of the road. But that's another thing um, you have to anticipate as a new rider is the road conditions. And when I say those road conditions was horrible, those was the worst road conditions all in one in a span of a few meters like that i've never been on the roads where it just changed the pattern and the bevels and the holes and the bumps and the shift in the lane all within like that small span so just be careful with that as well um but it did scare me i i would be telling a lie if i said that i wasn't nervous and scared and like i said so so much so that i wasn't willing to take that route again on the way back
We are playing the broken league. The broken league. Alright. We are playing. Drinking milk or drinking water, I should say. Well, we enjoyed our breakfast at the Broken Egg. It was great. We definitely have to go back and do it again. I think um, the Broken Egg has given First Watch some competition. So now we have two restaurants to go sit down to and figure out how we're going to take over the world. All right, so as far as the lessons learned, those were our major key lessons that we learned over the past few months, um, just riding in general. Keep in mind, I am not an expert by any means. This is just information I am sharing because I felt like as a brand new rider, the information wasn't available in the capacity that I would like for it to have been. So therefore, I am trying to provide the information that I wish I have had from the beginning. Now, don't get me wrong. There's a lot of information out there that's useful. Um, I just wanted to be broken down into like layman's terms or 
to break it all the way down to the lowest terms so I can understand it. All right, YouTube fam, that's the video. Hope you enjoyed it. And as always, I appreciate the support and I welcome anything to help me be better at this journey or just riding the motorcycle in general. All right, then. Y'all lay around for it. It's your girl, Lady Will.